What's up everyone, it's Mark from Silence Tech back again with another video. I'm very sorry there was a bit of a delay from my last video to this one. I burnt myself out, extremely tired, and I had to have a bit of a break. Today's video, we're gonna be checking out a mouse that was sent over from Logitech, the Wireless G Pro. To be completely honest, I found the naming of this mouse a little confusing. First we had the Wire G Pro released a couple years ago and then the G305 was released which had the exact same shape as the Wire G Pro. And now Logitech have released a Wireless G Pro that has a completely different design. Confused? I know I am. Crazy model numbers aside, I've been using the Wireless G Pro for a good while now, and I really like it. In fact, the Wireless G Pro is my second favourite mouse of all time, only coming second to the G305, and I'll talk about why I love that mouse so much at the end of the video. The G Pro Wireless has a pretty hefty price tag, 149 US dollars or 129 UK pounds, making it a serious investment for any gamer. But you'll get in Logitech's best sensor to date, their second generation sensor, the Hero 16K, with a DPI range of 100 to 16,000. I personally only use 400 DPI, so these numbers are just marketing in my opinion. Of course, what's more important is how well the sensor performs. And while it tracks insanely well, you won't notice any difference in my personal opinion between this sensor and the original 3366. That said, it does achieve the highest frame rate processing to date capable of 400 IPS, producing zero smoothing, filtering or mouse acceleration. Plus, and a big plus, the battery life has nearly been doubled with the Hero 2K sensor. Now that battery life is more than acceptable as well as performance and tracking when you compare wired to wireless, what about weight? For myself, weight was one of the biggest drawbacks to using a wireless mouse. The G Pro Wireless only weighs in at 80 grams, making it the exact weight I look for in a mouse anymore and my aim gets sloppy, especially over time. Of course, this depends on your own personal preferred DPI and how much you lift the mouse. 80 grams overall is a good middle ground for every gamer. With such an expensive product, how do you know this mouse is going to be right for you? Everyone has different hand shapes, sizes and preferences. The G Pro Wireless has a safe shape, meaning it's more than likely going to fit the most hand shapes and sizes out there compared to let's say an ergonomic mouse. Logitech are known for this and the G Pro Wireless is no exception, the shape is excellent. Dimensions, the mouse has a height of 125 millimeters, a width of 63 millimeters, and a depth of 40 millimeters, making it slightly taller than the G703, for example, but slimmer around the sides. And I much prefer the general shape and dimensions of the Wireless G Pro, especially when you factor in the weight. My hand is just under 19 centimeters in length and eight centimeters across, around average. That said, I find the plastic used on the surface a little slippery. While using the mouse, I constantly have this sensation that it wants to slip out of my hand and each side desperately needs rubber grips. The forward and back button placement is okay. I found the forward button hard to get at quickly in game without having to change my grip. Lefties fear not as well. The mouse has buttons on both sides that can be swapped out, which is a real nice touch. The left and right clicks feel perfect, just the right amount of travel, but I did notice they flex a little, probably due to the extreme weight reduction by Logitech. Not an issue, it's only noticeable when I apply extreme amounts of pressure on the left and right clicks. The scroll wheel sticks out a little too much for my liking. It has a rubberized surface, fairly well defined scroll steps, and it gets the job done, although it's nowhere near as good as a hyper scroll wheel. Button free has a very well defined click.
Underneath is a little compartment where you can either store a bit of money or you can add a custom weight or the power play charging system. Also they've decided to put the DPI adjustment button underneath to prevent accidental presses. And lastly the feet that they've used are all situated around the weight compartment and at the top and each are well rounded at the edges to prevent snagging. Jumping into the Logitech software, I'm on a bit of a roll now guys, so I'm not gonna stop. You're able to save changes you make to the mouse, either on the onboard memory or not. The next page allows you to adjust the buttons, report rate and DPI, and you're able to switch between different profiles you create as well. Unfortunately though, there isn't any profile switch button on the mouse, but you can assign one. The next page is for all of the RGB lighting controls, although the effects are limited. The last page gives you a clear and easy to understand battery readout, letting you know how much battery is remaining with a few options to improve the overall power consumption of the LED lighting. Personally, I can highly recommend the Logitech G Pro Wireless, but if you aren't willing to spend that much, pick up the G305. It's a lot cheaper, it has less than half the price, in a lot of ways I much prefer it over the G Pro Wireless. It's around the same weight, it's just got an insane battery life, it is just an absolutely amazing mouse that lasts for absolute hours and hours. Regardless of the price difference, I still prefer the G305. So that's it, a quick video for you today. My name's Mark from Silence Tech, I really hope you've enjoyed this review. Goodbye.